Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to share with you guys a really quick DIY on how to depot your candles. I love candles. I burn them so often, have some burning out right now, and I usually burn them around my house a lot. So I end up with a ton of empty candles. Um, I used to always throw them away, but then I've realized that these can be reused, recycled. They have so many different purposes and um, things you can do with the actual glass that the candle was in. A lot of them have so many different sizes that um, they're so useful. So I went on YouTube and did Google searches trying to find a way to depot the wax out of the candle and to be able to use the, the glass container. I found a lot of tutorials on depotting these, but then they used the stove. They would take the actual candle, boil some water on the stove, and then put the candle in, and then you have to take very carefully the super boiling hot candle out of the, the water in the, um, in the pot, the boiling pot of water, and scrape out the melted wax. That did not seem safe or easy for me um, to do. And I wanted something easier and safer because I wasn't trying to boil a pot of hot water and stick my hand in it. Um, so I did find a couple of easier, no stove, no boiling hot water way of removing the wax out of your candle to repurpose this. So I'm going to share that with you today. There's a few things that you're going to need and it's super easy, you guys, super easy. First of all, you need candles. You need to have them burnt down. Um, any size will work. You can use the tall ones, you can use the small ones. I have a, you know, this size, the little teeny ones. You need candles. The second thing you're gonna need is a butter knife. Just your average everyday butter knife. Nothing pointy or pokey or scary. The next thing you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol, any percentage, but the higher, a little bit the better because it works a little bit easier. And then you're going to need your little cotton pads for the alcohol. And then you guys, what you're going to need is a freezer. So your refrigerator that has the freezer will work. And right now I have a couple of candles in my freezer. You want to put the candle in your freezer and with no lid, you don't need the lid guys. So you want to put the candle in the freezer and leave it there. I, You can leave it there a couple hours, but I actually leave it there overnight to a couple of days just to make sure that it is frozen solid. And that is the trick you guys, frozen solid. And I will start this tutorial, this little DIY, showing you guys actually me depotting some of the candles that I have in my freezer. I hope you enjoy it and I'll come back. The first things that you need to do is to stick your candles in the freezer. Here I have put a couple of my candles in the freezer, you know, amongst the veggies and the vodka. Um, and they've been here, uh, I would say about two days. So they're really frozen. I'm really frosty and frozen because that actually works best. And I'm actually gonna take these candles to the bathroom because they, um, it's a lot lighter in there, so you'll be able to see a lot better how I'm going to depot these candles. So we're here in the bathroom now to, um, you know, you could do this in your kitchen, but just for the sake of the lighting, I wanted to use the bathroom. So here are the two candles that I'm going to depot, and you can actually go ahead and start peeling off the labels. Some of these labels come off so super easy once they're frozen. And you know you can do the same to the um, to the bottom, but it's not necessary because you do have your alcohol here that you can take the bottom parts off. But I'm going to try to take these labels off. Off, like I said again, you can use the alcohol, but once it's kind of um, frozen, it kind of the water just kind of takes these labels off. So you are going to take your handy dandy uh, butter knife here and. See how it's it's totally frozen? All you do is just make a couple little jabs here. Stick it in there. I just kind of stuck it in there. So I'll show you again. Any one of your little jabs, just push it and it cracks. You hear that crack? 
So do that in a couple of places. So see what I'm doing? I'm just taking my knife and pushing it in, taking my knife and pushing it in. You want to really crack this, crack it up. And then you guys look at it. Did you see that? I do have one of these little, um, these, these metal things in here and I'll tell you how to get that off. But look at that. It's pretty much like gone now. So I'm gonna toss this in the trash. So here, let me show you how to do this little baby one. So this is a different type of wax, but you just push it. So what I'm doing, pushing it. Just If you're mad, take your aggression out on it, buddy. Okay, so here's your wax already out. And actually what I did is I just scooped it like this and the little metal piece came out. So there you go. So if you notice like on the bottom, there are, there's just a little bit of remnants of um, wax still in the bottom here. And that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to throw a little bit of alcohol inside of it. See what I'm doing? Just throw a little alcohol. Rub it along. And a lot of this wax comes out. You want to take this. And then you want to take your pad, and you just rub the alcohol get all this I'm just gonna leave this here but you want to you can put some alcohol on your pad and just rub it along the inside and what this is doing is look at you guys it's taking all that soot and gross stuff out and don't worry about this little metal thing it'll come out so you have all this soot and excess like candle wax and again, you've had this alcohol kind of sitting in this one because this one has more wax. And take your pot, your cotton pad. You can hear that's squeaky. So the next thing you want to do, because there is like a little bit of wax on this bottom, and of course you don't want that if you're going to use it for another reason, is you you can run hot water. So I'm going to run some hot water, you guys. So what I'm doing is I'm filling up the sink right now with hot water, and it's not boiling hot. I can touch it. It's fine. And I'm just going to place my candles here into this water. So once you've had this kind of sitting here just for a couple of minutes in this hot water, not boiling, just hot water, you can take a, a sponge and some soap. You want this to be a gross sponge. You don't want this to be a sponge that you're actually going to use to wash dishes with. So... I'm going to take the sponge with the soap and just kind of clean it out. And you notice all this wax is now coming out because it was sitting in the water. And you can see actually the wax floating in here. So I'm going to take this and look. Did you see that, you guys? Look at this thing just popped right out. Again, with your soapy sponge, just clean it up. Label that's been sitting in the water that you can just pull and peel off. Very easy, very simple. I'm using my thumb, but you can also use this knife that you had um, to scrape it off. See, comes off so easy, you guys. Let it in. There. You notice there's like some of this um, paper still on here. Just put some alcohol on this cotton pad again and rub it and the labels just coming right off take it again inside you'll want to definitely rinse off your um, candles you can do the same thing with this other one this label but you can Take this and scrape it with your knife. I'm going to do that. I need another cotton pad here. So I'm just filling up my cotton pad with this alcohol here. I'm going to take this again to get this um, the glue off of this label. So you can see that. And I'm going to take this again inside. Make sure there isn't any more wax, any more soot. So there you go, you guys. The last step is just to rinse them off, to rinse it out. 
use any alcohol if you feel like there's any kind of a wax or anything left in there. So here I'm taking paper towels. We're drying these up now. You can feel around to see if you need to add some more alcohol to really get any excess gook or um, label. And you want to make sure it's nice and uh, clean for you, nice and dry, and yeah. So there you go guys. Here are your clean, uh, totally usable, reusable uh, DIY of how to depot your candles. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Now that you have your candles depotted, there's so many things that you can do with them. I've used one of my candles with the lid um, to keep all the dust out and I've put some cotton pads and some q-tips for makeup in here. And then the next thing you can do, you can always add ribbons to it, use it to hold your makeup brushes. Just, you know, you can add the beads to it. Um, you can use the little ones to hold bobby pins or q-tips or whatever. You know, these things are so useful, you guys. And now that I've showed you how to do them super easy, you'll be able to repurpose, repurpose, <laughs> you'll be able to repurpose your candles so that you can use them in useful ways around your room, your house. Really quick DIY and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see some more DIYs. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any other ideas. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time in my next video.